there are two primary categories of data types in python the immutable types and the mutable types programmers often confuse and miss out on important interview questions based on mutable and immutable types i am saurav agarwal you are watching data hack and in this video we are going to understand what are mutable and immutable data types in python we shall explore the various data types under each category we shall compare the differences between list set tuple and dictionaries and finally we shall see how to type cast a variable in a particular data type to another data type before moving ahead if you are interested in learning python for data science from the very scratch make sure you have subscribed to this channel so that you never miss a video i put videos every week let me quickly provide you an understanding of what do we mean by data types let me go over to the shared screen just a second yes so you see like whenever you are to store any data whenever you are storing any data say your variable let me take a pencil where one now this where one contains four okay where two contains hello okay now how does your program know or how does the compiler know that what um, what amount of memory should be associated with these two variables right now this memory association is based on the type of these variables if you see the var1 has a type of integer whereas var2 has a type of string each of them would occupy different storage space in the memory and based on the data type the compiler or the interpreter associates the corresponding amount of memory space for these variables let us head over to understand what are mutable and immutable now let me quickly head over to our link to this pdf this document shall be available in our telegram channel if you are interested in joining our telegram channel for free for this limited period make sure to check the link in the description now you see the data types are categorized as immutable data types and mutable data types in python under immutable data types we have numbers strings tuples now these numbers also contain a few more categories or few more types of data like such as char int float etc under mutable types we have lists dictionary sets now to talk of mutable and immutable types mutable types allow change in place whereas immutable types do not allow the change to happen in place now what do we mean by it let me again head over to our notepad section and here i'll show you what do we mean by mutable and mutable types so we talked of like these variables occupy a memory space understand this variable is a container okay so this is var1 now this container will have a memory row reference say mem1 right and it contains 4 4 is present inside this now if it is a mutable type mutable type then if you want to change this value okay change this value to 7 you can replace this 4 by 7 in the same memory location for this variable one however if it is an immutable type okay if the type is immutable when you want to change this value 4 to 7 it will create a new memory location now this 7 would go here right this 4 will remain as it is in this memory location and this 7 would take a new memory location and this var1 will now reference this new memory location instead of the older memory location this is the difference between mutable and immutable types okay hope this is clear hope this makes sense now we shall understand the different types of data associated under each categories but before that let us also see a few more comparisons between mutable and immutable types so we know that mutable types allow the change to happen in place whereas immutable types do not allow the change to happen in place okay 
Mutable types are slower to access. Why? Because they allow to change to happen in place. That means they allow both read and write operations. When you have access to both read and write operations, the operations are generally slower. Immutable types allow only read-only operations and therefore they are comparatively faster. Mutable types does not create a copy when modified. Obviously, like when you are modifying it, it creates a copy to another memory location and then changes it. Immutable types does not immutable types changes a separate copy when modified. Okay. Some of the examples that we see are list, set, dictionary for mutable types, and immutable types are numeric, string, tuple, bool, etc. Okay. Now we shall look into each of these data types or each or the various data types associated under each category, how we can create them and what are the various values that we can supply to each of them. Let us first understand the numeric types in Python. So the numeric types primarily include three data types, integer, float and complex. The complex type is not used for general purpose programming. It is only used for scientific computations. And if you have undertaken scientific mathematics in a plus two standard, you would know what complex numbers denote. If not, let me quickly give you an overview. So a complex number has two parts, the real part and the imaginary part. This is the imaginary part. And this is the real part. Now there is no special significance of complex numbers in our scope and therefore we shall not dive deeper into complex numbers. Let us understand what integral and floating point numbers are. Integral numbers are the numbers, natural numbers, whole numbers and the numbers denoting the positive and negative positive, such as minus 2, minus 100, 0, 4000, 99. These are integral numbers. Floating numbers denote the decimal numbers such as minus 2.0, minus 9.98, 0, 4.3, 4.0 and so on and so forth. So these are the three primary numeric types in Python. Let us see how we can create these numeric types and how we define them. We will create a new file. Okay, let us call this data types python.py. Always remember like whenever you are giving a file name, avoid a file name which could possibly the name of a library in Python. Okay, let us quickly create variables. Var1, let us give it a value 4, var2, give it a value of minus 9.98. Okay, and let us print var1, var2. We shall also, in order to see the type of these variables, there is a function known as type in Python. This type function takes the argument as the, arg the variable name as the argument and returns the type of that variable. Let us now run it using a terminal. If you haven't watched how to create or how to set up Python in VS Code, check the video in the i link above. Okay. Now let me quickly run this file python data types.py. If you see the values are printed as 4 and minus 9.98 and the data types are integral and floating point. Okay, so you see these are the data types, numeric types in Python. Now we shall see one more type in Python which is the boolean type. Okay, boolean type if you know, boolean type contains two values, true and false. These are also known as truth values. If you remember, when we talked of the operators in Python in the last video, we talked about the comparison based operators, the logical operators. Now the results of these comparison based operators or logical operators are these boolean values, true and false. Let me just create a variable var3, assign it a value true. Okay. And if you print the type of this true, or you can, okay, or you can print this type var3. Let me also do another operation print var1 greater than which is a comparison operator then var2. Let us see what the results are. If you see the type of our variable 3 is bool type and when we use the comparison operator var1 greater than var2 
since variable 1 was greater than variable 2 it returned true which is a boolean type okay you see how boolean operators work sorry boolean data types work now next thing that we are going to look at are the sequence types okay these sequence types contain multiple values data types containing multiple elements also known as sequence types what are the primary sequence types that you need to learn in python list set tuple string dictionary these are the primary data types or the sequence data types that we are going to look at now quickly heading over to our vs code let us see how we can create this let me comment these out okay let us create a list so a list can contain a number of values after this we shall look we shall see a comparison between these sequence types but first let us see how to create let us create a list l we create a list using the function list and then pass the values as 3 4 minus 2 78 a okay next we create a tuple so the tuple is created with a function tuple and you pass the values as say 3 2 9 2 f to create a set we, we let I'll also tell you what these different types are and how they are different from each other when we talk of the comparison let us create a set set can con 1 2 3 4 say 4 5 so the sequence types as we see list set tuple and dictionary okay we quickly saw how to create them we create a list using the function name list there are other techniques such as using simply you can create a list as l1 and give it within the square brackets this would also create a list in order to create a tuple you can create a tuple by specifying it within the simple brackets give value comma separated values if you want to give just one value then give it like this two comma this will create a tuple let me instead of printing the values let us print the type Okay, type t t1 yeah here let us again print type l type l1 in order to create a set you need to use this function set you can pass a list here you can pass a tuple here right you can pass other sequence types such as list and tuple in a set okay to create a dictionary dictionary is basically a key value pair okay these are the keys these are the keys a b t f and these are the values 12 21 a b c let me quickly execute this and show you how these would appear okay so if you see wait a second yes if you see what me execute it yes so you see l1 l and l1 wait a second yeah this L and L1 are list types. T and T1 are tuple side types. We created it using this. Then we printed this set. Now, one of the things that I wanted to highlight for sets, okay, pay attention here. You see, for this set, we created 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5. So, 4 is duplicated here. 4 is repeated twice. However, when this set is created, it has only the distinct elements. This is the use of a set. Set stores the distinct elements of the value passed. Okay. So it will remove any duplicacy that is present. Dictionary. Dictionary contains the key value pairs. You cannot duplicate the keys of a dictionary. Okay. So we saw the numeric types. We saw the Boolean type. We also saw the sequence types such as list, set, tuple, dictionary. What is left is to see the string type. Okay, string type are nothing but the string integers. Let me take it name as str. You can pass any value here and this will print type str. 
Now one more thing to look at is how do we access the values of a list, a tuple, dictionary or a string. So you can index these values. You see this list, tuple, dictionary, these are ordered types. When we see the comparison, I'll explain you what an order type is. And for order type, you can print their values as L of 2, basically the index. Or you can give tuple T of 2. For dictionary, you can give the key. Okay, this way you can print their values. If you see the values, corresponding values are printed. Okay, now let us quickly head over and see the comparison of the different types. Now we shall compare between list, set, tuple, and dictionary. As we already discussed, that list, set, and dictionary, these are mutable types. You can change their values without changing their memory reference. However, tuples are immutable in Python. Now, list, set, tuple and dictionary, all of them can contain multiple values. Now, these values can be of the same type. When the values are of the same type, we call it homogeneous or these values can be of different types. For example, as we saw here that our list contains the values 3, 4, minus 2, minus 78 and A. So these are the integral types whereas this is a string type or a char type. Okay. So you can see that these can store heterogeneous data. The third point is a list allows duplicate elements. A tuple also allows duplicate elements whereas a set does not allow any duplicate element which I highlighted you in this example for the set here we had a duplicate value 4 but the set that is generated contains only distinct values and for a dictionary you cannot allow duplicate keys you cannot pass duplicate keys now the one of the major differences between these sequence types are the ordered and unordered types okay list tuple and dictionary are ordered types and the set is unordered type let us now quickly understand the difference between ordered and unordered types. Okay, so we know that set is an unordered type, whereas list, tuple, dictionary are ordered type. So let me open my notepad here. Okay, I'll take a string s. Let me open the editor. Yeah, string s, which is a, b, c, d, e, f, g, h. Okay. Now I create a list L as list of S. Now this is another way of creating a list. We saw this function S instead of passing a sequence there in, in a square bracket like list 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. We can also pass a sequence type here to create a list. Now this L would contain values as A, B, C, d e f g and h okay next okay <clears throat> this always causes some problem yes now let us create a tuple this tuple would be t tuple of s this would contain a b c d f g H. What I am trying to say here is the order in which we specified the values in our string. The same ordering is preserved in a list in a tuple. Whereas for a set, okay, for a set, if you give S, set S, this might be in any order. It could be A, G, E, A, B, C, F, H, D. Okay. This ordering is not preserved in a set and therefore it is an unordered sequence. Okay. In even in a dictionary, the ordering is preserved as the keys are in the same order as you specify them. This is the difference between ordered and unordered type. Now, let us quickly have a broad overview of how to do typecasting in Python. Primarily, there are two ways to do typecasting. One is the implicit type and the other is the explicit type. And then I want all of you to attempt an interview question. Let me quickly show you what the interview question is. I want you to answer them down in the comments. 
okay do not miss them because such questions are asked in interviews and if you do not get into the habit of practicing them if you do not get into the habit of attempting them and clarifying your doubts then certainly you would face challenges during your interviews so the interview question goes as how do you convert a to an ascii value to its ascii value in python you know that any all alphabets have a certain ascii code if you are not sure about it you need to google search it this is your task okay this is your task for the week you have to find out what these ascii values mean and how can you convert a particular alphabet into its corresponding ascii value in python now quickly heading over to the type casting in python let me zoom the screen a bit as i told you type casting is of two types implicit type casting and explicit type casting implicit type casting occurs naturally when we say it occurs naturally it means that you do not have to tell the compiler or the interpreter when to type cast or when to change the type it is based on convert say for example you add an integer type and a floating type so the internally the compiler or the interpreter would automatically type cast the integer type to its higher type which is the float type in this expression this is known as implicit type casting explicit type casting is when you specify the type for the individual variable explicitly for instance if you want to convert a floating point number to an integer type you have to specify it within the function int okay you have to write it as let me show you say just a second say a number variable name is a contains 4.3 now you want to explicit type cast explicit okay so what you will do you will do a is equals to int 4.3 now this 4.3 is a floating point if you do explicit type casting it will have the value of 4 because 4 is the integral number okay so this is explicit type casting so in this video what we learned in this chapter basically we learned what are the How, what are the differences between mutable and immutable data types in python we understood the various data types under each category numeric types boolean type strings the sequence type string list set tuple dictionary additionally we saw the comparison between the list set dic tuple and dictionaries and finally we saw how to type cast a data type from one type to another type Additionally we have provided an interview question for you make sure to attempt it out if you like the content give it a thumbs up see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye have a smooth learning experience jai hind